Larry Vickers, Vickers Tactical. While we're here in the Czech Republic, the guests of Sailor and Balot, we had a chance to sit down with the counter-terrorist unit, Erna, here in the Czech Republic. Thank you for taking time to talk to us. You're welcome. This is one of the team leaders. Remain anonymous. If you don't mind, when did Erna start? Urna Star, uh, the our unit uh, were, uh, was established in uh, 1981 years, like uh, part of the state police, because this day was a lot of terrorist attacks uh, across the Europe. But the uh, second period started in uh, 1990, after the Velvet Revolution, and start new, new procedures, new friends for a uh, uh, working abroad and so on. So I would imagine prior to 1990 you were more aligned with things in the Warsaw Pact and even maybe used some Warsaw Pact weapons? Yeah, it's, uh, weapons are really different because uh, these days we used mainly Czech products and from the Russians of course because we were part of that uh, Warsaw Pact and uh, now we are using better <laughs> this mainly German's weapons because. Now, are you guys set up to work just inside the Czech Republic or will you also work outside? Uh, both. Uh, we have, in the Czech Republic, it's a mine, our task is uh, anti-terrorist, high-risk uh, criminals. Uh, we are, of course, working together with special agents, undercover agents, and abroad, it's a mine task, it's uh, working with uh, a little bit intelligence, of course, uh, VIP protection, VIP protection embassies and their staffs. And so you guys are part of essentially the, you're not part of the Ministry of Defense. No, you would no, be no. of Internal Affairs, the law yeah. enforcement yeah. side of the house. We are considered there is a Ministry of Interior and uh, the police, police HQ, and we are part of the police HQ. What all type of activities do you do? You parachuting? Do you do yeah. water operations? What all do you guys do to get to where you need to go? It's a basic training. It's a shooting training, CQB training. Of course, there is uh, next to hand-to-hand -hand combat and self-defense technique, VIP protection, VIP technique, VIP. Of course, uh, parachuting technique, uh, diving techniques, special driving uh, techniques, and uh, motor motorbikes techniques and. All, almost all for special units, anti-terrorist tech, units, techniques. And transportation. Of, uh, transportation. And you guys operate a lot in and around Prague? No, no, no. We are operated about the old Czech Republic. Mm, okay. In the Czech Republic, there is a uh, couple of SWAT teams, like uh, counties. They are, SWAT, uh, they are s s small SWAT units, but for us, it's uh, all Republic mining. There are the hostages and hostage taker situation, so it's uh, mainly for us. For selection, where you guys select the, the personnel for your unit, it's yeah. always a, a highly specialized process. Yeah. It's critical to find the right guy. How do you guys go about that? Uh, the basic uh, basic uh, condition is uh, three years at police or army service. And after that, there are physical tests, uh, psychological tests, and of course, like a hell week. Uh, the times or for a physical test, it's a, I don't know, there is a five kilometers run, obstacle course, uh, sits ups, push ups, pull ups. And after that, uh, there are people, okay, we are going to the hell week, this operation base. They are, they are without sleeping, minimum, sl minimum sleeping, uh, minimum food and uh, mainly walking, marching about next to the base. It's a former big uh, army's base. So they are mainly walking and fill some tasks about all week. And after that, there is a decision. It's uh, able to take him or not. Now, how often do you guys run that selection? It's a one year. It's a, about one year. Each year, it's a one selection time. What's your pro? How many applicants do you normally have? Uh, it's about it's about thirty applicants, but only one, two. Will Sometimes be no one. They are not selected. So. And then I guess from then they'll go into shooting and CQB yep. and whatnot. That that continue. It's a my basic training, of course, base of CQB and shooting, 
Yeah. The yeah explosive breaching, I'm yeah, sure, of course. is in there. Of course. Uh, each team, they have a couple of uh, breachers. They are able to, for a breaching, using, using different techniques with the, for example, mechanics, hammers, ram, or the explosive, or some hydraulic system, or something like that. It, yeah. How long have you been in the unit? This is, <laughs> I, I joined, uh, when I was 14, I joined Army. And after that, I joined this unit. It was 1990. It's about, I guess, 28 years. So you joined right as it switched from former Warsaw Pact yeah. over to the Western yeah. theme of things. Good deal. Long time. How often do you guys, this is your training facility, how often do you guys get a chance to come up here and train? Every day. Every day. It's a, it's a, of course, it's a depend. Because uh, one team is uh, in the Prague, like in the duty. They are going, for example, for a one week for a shooting range and uh, try guns. They are, okay, if they are okay, everything okay with the guns. And uh, the rest, their training in Prague is a mainly self-defense, CQB, and because they have to stay in Prague. And the rest of the people, they are, it's a, about three, uh, two, three times a week, for example, shooting range, CQB. Uh, this operation base, we are going here, I don't know, one, twice a week. Mm -hmm. It's, it depends, but. Hey, thank you for taking the time to show us around and sit down and talk to me. I appreciate it. If I don't want to get into too many details based on your guys' line yeah. of work, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, we're going to take a minute here to go through some of the small arms that Erna uses. Our host is kind enough to highlight some of them. I appreciate it. Yeah, welcome. Let's kick it off with the pistol. Glock 17. Yeah, exactly. Right there. Now, back in the day, it was yeah. CZ 75. Yeah, that's true. It was, I don't know, 15 years ago. Right, yeah. quite a while back. Yeah. Night sights, white light. Yeah, right. There. Ammunition yeah. you use? We are using normal ammunition design for exercise, for a training, for a operation we are using uh, Action 5. Got it, okay. HK MP7. Yeah. Now, did this replace the MP5 or do you still have MP5? Uh, we, replaced, we replaced them for MP5. Sometimes we use it MP5 yet, but it's a better, shorter. And then how long, when did you get this? How, how many how years long, ago? Uh, it was two, one, two years Got approximately. And then very compact yeah. weapon. You guys yeah. happy with that overall? We are satisfied with this gun, yeah, okay. sure. HK416. Yeah. I noticed you got the latest version with the ambi controls. Yeah. How long have you had that? Same time, like this one we are using, it's about two years approximately. Got it. So, yeah. And then you, you had an HK before that? Yeah, we have. We have HK... Uh, G36? Yeah, G46, okay. yes. In 5.56? Yeah. Good it's deal. The same caliber work. Now, coming down here, HK417, you're using yeah. for sniper work, yeah. I would assume. True. You've had this how long? This gun we have uh, longer than this one. It's uh, about 10 years, I guess, approximately for a support, support approaching team. And Got it. Field operation. And then Accuracy International. Yeah, it's a four. Yeah, it's a British. And then how long have you had that? How long? Uh, it's about, I guess, five years approx approximately. Yeah. I see Night Force scope, yeah. pencil. Yeah, German, American, yeah. Overall, good deal. Yeah, good one. Yeah. Hey, thank you much. You're Appreciate welcome. you taking the time to take us through your facility, highlighting okay. some of the weapons, showing us some of the training, yeah. answering some questions. I really appreciate answer. it. Yeah. Thank you. Kind of a peek behind the curtain. Yeah, okay. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>